When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, with you I pray. In God, I trust. I am not afraid. What can flesh do to me? Good morning, friends. I will come and greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's begin our morning sermon, evolution service. Let us bow down our head and look to God and pray. Let's pray. Sovereign Lord, thank you for your giving us sustaining life and wonderful time for morning sermon, evolution service. We submit all our programs. Please be with us and guide us throughout this service. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, let the opening hymn, let all rise up and sing him chorus number 168, which found on page number 156. I found in your mystery, in awesome deep, my faith will stand. I am yours, you are mine. Let's sing a song.
bless the preacher and bless his preparation. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, my beloved. Dear friends, it's time for us to take our cares and concerns to the Lord. Let us pray. Let us pray for principal and all the teaching and non-teaching faculties. Let's pray so that God may give them health and everything they have, they need. Let us pray for Bible Society of India and GMI so that the Lord may continue to use them for His glory. Let us pray for our country, India, and her neighbors, Myanmar, Bangladesh, China, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka so that they may be peace in the region. Let us pray for the plot of land we have acquiring recently so that we may be able to fully acquire it on time. Let us pray for workers of the gospel all over the world. Let us pray for our BBC students so that we may have good health to continue our studies without problem. O oh Lord, our God, we thank you for giving us a new day and bringing us together to worship you. As we come to worship, we brought our cares and concerns to you. Hear and answer us, O oh Lord, according to the richness of your mercies. We pray for the preacher Nunguk Chung. Enable him to speak boldly and edify us through your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For this morning, sermon evolution and service, scripture portion taken from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 to 27. Matthew chapter 8 verses 23 to 27. And when he got into the boat, his disciple followed him, and windstorm arose on the sea, so great that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep, and they went and woke him up, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? You have little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the wind and the sea. And there was death come. There were amazed, saying, What sort of man is this? That even the winds and the sea obey him. This is the word of Christ. Now I may I invite brother Che Sang for a special song. Well, brother Che Sang will sing Myanmar song, which is translated from 
Chorus number three, page number 126. The song meaning is, Hide me now under your wings, cover me within your mighty hand. When the ocean rise and thunder roll, I will soar with you above the strong. Father, you are the king over the flow. I will the seal. I will be still and know you are God. Find my rest, my soul, in Christ alone. Now his power in goodness and trust. One second. Good morning, everyone. Let's pray. Let the work of my mouth and the benediction of our heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and redeemer. Amen. In this morning, the sermon title is Be Still and Trust God in Hardship. Let's look into the text background, especially on, especially on this verse. Jesus now get into the boat with his disciple and strut across the Sea of Galilee. This passive lake, eight mil miles and 13 mil from north to south, lay six eighty feet below sea level. The high seal that surround at Alcat with deep ravine that act lies grace funnel drawing violent wind from the high stone onto the lake without warning. The boat carrying Jesus is cast in one soft storm, was rise and crash over the deck. There are three some 
point that I, I divided from my sermon. First, Jesus is author, uh, trustworthy savior. Second, humankind is always needs help. Third, Jesus has authority over everything. Let's get right into the first point. Where did Jesus and his disciples meet with trouble on the sea? Why do we believe in Christ, constantly encounter trouble in this world? We all bus pilgrim. We know from Philippians Crucic that Jesus is Almighty God and power in himself God. Will not this mean that all knowing and all power God know exactly what the apostle will encounter? We know this to be true, don't we all know? Through this event, what did Jesus intend to teach his disciples? God knows every trouble we will face, and yes, he allowed them to happen anyways. When disciples have already seen Jesus' power, they saw heal many people like with and we Christians have seen and read his this Bible in this Bible. The disciples tr tried to resolve their trouble through the strength of their flesh and fear. When the storm arose, they had forgotten whose followers they were and who was with them on the every moment on the boat. They have forgotten the most important factor that Jesus Christ. Similarly, we believe in our pilgrimage through this deed work. We can't forget those followers we are and who is with us. When we face all sorts of hardship, relying on our strength and wisdom to resolve our trouble. We become tired We constantly the disciple from tram to tram so Jesus power and we also employ the trouble on the weave and reveal his faithfulness and saving nature of through our trouble and hardship in Jesus in this journey of life. Now, dear friend, we Christians have the Holy Spirit in us. And let us not forget this one we face trouble. Then through our, through our trouble, we will behold the face of our Lord Jesus Christ and the strength in our work of faith. Continually, this first point shows us that Jesus is our trustworthy Savior in time of hardship. Second point. Women can always need help. Why was Jesus asleep? He does, he does so to reveal women can help helplessness and need for help. The disciples now realize their need for help and wake up Jesus who was with them, remembering always our helplessness and need for help. Let us remind ourselves that the Spirit of Jesus always with us, who can help us in every way. Let's wake up the Holy Spirit in us through our heart's prayer. This second point shows us that womankind is always in need of a helper and the bed helper in Jesus Christ. The one who is always with us, the Holy Spirit of Jesus. Third point, Jesus has authority over everything. When the disciples saw Jesus' power in action, they marveled, saying, what sort of man is this? What even the wind and the sea obey him? The disciple following Jesus every day well, largely annual of extent of Jesus' power. We believe all are also like this. We don't really know the power of Jesus. We are given all sort of trouble by the wind and the wave of this work. You see, bowing our knees to Jesus in prayer, his work, are revealed to us to give us peace, healing, and victory over our hardship. But some believers are when we, when they receive healing or success in life, give credit to their ability and the government and not to cut everything that happened in all them by Jesus. According to his will, the government and our friends and everyone make their move. Therefore, all of all depth of gratitude to God. This third, third point so as that Jesus has authority over everything. Before conclusion, my sermon, I want to give us my reflection is that Jesus is our trustworthy savior that we, every human being has to keep trust in him. Human abilities and resources might fail us sometimes, but when our life is built on the abilities of Jesus, the son of God, even think that same failure can bring a lot of success. Our trouble like the storm come upon the boat of disciple. 
can never win over us, either in spiritual, metal, or material, metal. Since we have solved foundation, our Lord Jesus Christ, those whose teachings we follow, over estimating our strength and abilities or talents, can lead us to the failure sometimes. Jesus, or Holy Spirit, who will in us remind us always that we need helper who must be supernatural in terrible. So let us not overestimate ourselves, but always seek God help through humble prayer. What stop us to submit ourselves completely to our Lord Jesus Christ? He has complete sovereignty over everything on the earth and the heaven. His authority has been shown through many miracles and history, even of human history, so we should never be hesitant about Jesus' power that can change any circumstance. May the Almighty God deliver your life from all your problems and temptations which are persisting in your life. Let all rise up and close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your giving us wonderful time for listening your work, your holy work. Please bless what we have done. Now we are depart from your holy sanctuary place. Please guide us through the, out this day in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Let's uh, pronounce the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy be done on earth is in heaven. Let us not into temptation. But deliver up for me, the for that the kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Let's receive benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Shalom.